Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and let's take a look at the Roadhog changes and discuss what kind of a difference they actually make to Roadhog. Now, the new changes to Roadhog, so the 20% reduction in his primary fire spread pattern is now live on the PTR. Also, he's got a two second increase on the cooldown to his hook. So instead of it being six seconds, it's now eight seconds. So let's talk about the spread. Well, what you can see on the screen here is a 10 meter ranged attack on one of the target dummies in the practice range. Look at this, look at the new one, two shots and it is dead reliably two shots and dead look at the right hand side look at the old one it is generally three shots to kill them watch this new one one two dead old one go one two three four to kill it that time so it is definitely a buff to his primary fire because you can reliably kill targets within that range much easier than having to default back to like maybe using a, an alternate fire or something ridiculous that you have to kind of mix in so this shows you the spread pattern now the new one has a 20% reduced spread and you can clearly see it hitting the wall it is much smaller than the old spread which is on the right hand side which is basically hitting all of the wall whereas the new one is sort of more focused which is exactly what it should be this is a buff to roadhog's weapon so this makes roadhog actually slightly a bit better so what we're going to do now is have a look at him in play on the ptr now a bit of a disclaimer ptr is well it's all over the place look at the team <laughs> the team's crazy right people just play whatever the hell they want and bye bye genji as well that was a right click to genji's face and he was dead right in the sweet spot though that was so, what we've got to think now, uh, my, my little disclaimer is basically teams are going to be dodgy, so like, you know, things that are happening on PTR might not happen on live, but we can still talk about the way Roadhog is playing. So, the hook, um, 8 second cooldown on the hook, you do feel it. Now, I'm no, by no means a Roadhog pro or a pro, uh, like a main Roadhog playing loads of hours of Roadhog, because I don't really play Roadhog that often, but even I was feeling it, the, like, the, the sheer two seconds it doesn't you wouldn't think it'd be that much but actually kind of is because even me i was used to firing it off every six seconds so i think it's going to be a bit difficult for roadhog mains to sort of get used to it because you're going to be in that situation of like muscle memory like yes i've got my hook oh, oh actually i don't have my hook uh, 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 i'm dead you know that kind of thing it's going to happen quite a lot so you're going to need to get used to it it sort of means that you need to be a bit more uh, like tactical in the way with the hook like use it when you know you're gonna land a hook I know it's only two seconds and it's not the be-all and end-all But it will make a pretty huge difference to just the way you play Roadhog because it upsets the rhythm but Anything that increases cooldown times or decreases them messes with the rhythm of a character and that's what's going on with Roadhog So let's talk about the primary fire. This thing is much better. Obviously not at this range here You're always going to use alternate fire. I don't know what that bastion was doing, but yeah, it's PTR these things happen Again, I'm trying to fight the uh, the Pharaoh there, but she got taken out. A Mercy's coming after me. I'm trying to primary fire. Like, what I'm trying to do is use the primary fire more often than using the secondary fire because, as we've seen in the training ground, it actually does more damage within that 10 meter range than the old one used to do. And it definitely does more damage than the alternate fire because that's not going to explode within that kind of range. So you do need to use it more. And it is a bit weird because I'm used to just using the alternate fire. I mean, come on, Hawk 2.0, what was that? I'm used to using the alternate fire all of the time on Roadhog and only really primary firing after I hook somebody or when I'm point blank range. But now, it's like, no, 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 you actually can fire that primary fire at sort of, I mean, obviously it's still super close range, right? We're talking 10 meters and under, but it's just more effective. You can put more damage out and you'll see throughout these clips where I'm hitting people and just wiping them out. Like, I'm not sure what happened there. I should have killed her after I hooked her in. That was kind of weird. I think it's because she didn't fully hook down to me, which again is the other change. We've got the range increase on the hook. Which is exactly why I didn't kill her there. Which, so I basically answered my own question. It, 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 basically, what is happening is they're not getting pulled as close as they used to. They're getting pulled 3.5 meters like uh, away from you instead of basically 2 meters. So it's like pretty much right on top of you. So now it's a little bit more difficult to land the instant kill. And that's probably why when you've seen Genji earlier on escape and seen Farrah escape then, that's why that's happening. You can, however, still melee attack. This was a problem I thought I might have where you'd hook them, primary fire, then you couldn't do the melee combo, but you actually can. You'll notice I'm terrible at it and I forget to do it all the time in this clip. That's because I'm not a Roadhog main. But it is a bit weird. Like I should have killed the Farrah then and I definitely should have killed the Genji earlier on in the clip. So you will feel it. And this just comes back to the whole sort of roadhog rhythm has been it's been upset so if you are a roadhog main you will definitely feel this and you'll probably at first be like this doesn't feel too great because it feels totally alien like it's completely different all right so now i'm using the uh primary fire you can see did quite a bit of damage to him took him out it was 
you know, yeah, you probably would have primary fired anyway uh, with the old Roadhog in that situation because Genji was so close. Um, secondary fire would have been kind of pointless there. But you, you see what you can kind of see what I'm I'm trying to say and showing the video where it just does more damage. So his weapon is more effective now. Doesn't matter what way you look at it, it is just a more effective weapon. But you just have to work the balance out between the secondary and the primary fire. Whereas before, it was a little bit different. I mean, that was beautiful there. Um, also, the hook, the cooldown on the hook again is an upset with rhythm, uh, with rhythm, which is going to cause an issue, right? See, like there, it was fine because she was right in front of me, managed to land the headshot. It's cool, it's great, it's fine. Genji's trying to jump in. I'm trying to give him some primary fire love. Kind of missed a bit there. He's deflecting. I'm waiting for him. I'm going to hook him. That was a weird hook because he sort of dashed behind me. So I thought the hook was meant to pull them in front of you all of the time, but seems a bit janky. So, yeah, the hook is kind of weird at the moment. The, the Like, the extra distance that it drops them off in front of you is sort of offset by how focused your primary fire is. And that isn't a bad thing, but I know I keep going on about it in this video, but it is rhythm. It comes down to the rhythm of the Roadhog, and it is... It's upset. Like, it's upset. But do I think he's actually stronger than he was before? Well, his hook has been nerfed, right? It's not as super insta-kill as it was before, uh, quite clearly. However, uh, it's still the hook. If you get hooked, you're pretty much going to die, right? You're going to be looking at maybe like an 80% chance of instant death, right? Depending on who you are. Sometimes you might escape. Yeah, sometimes you might not. But that's what's going to happen with the hook. So it's still super, super powerful. Primary fire is simply better. Now, if you watch this now, I'm going to be using quite a lot of primary fire here. Point blank range into the shield. Look at this. Sometimes, like, you generally wouldn't do this, right? What you'd be doing is a bit further back, firing your right click in. But firing your left click in, or your primary fire, is actually burning the barrier down quite well. Get the hook in, pull her around the corner, do a bit of damage to her. It's, it's still really effective. And also, always turn around whenever you're healing, so your headshot uh, box is smaller, so it's harder for them to kill you. Uh, that's why you see me keep spinning around. But that's a pro Roadhog tip, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, I'm building my ultimate up here, just sort of standing in the choke, firing away into the Reinhardt barrier. This is what you would be doing anyway with the Roadhog. Yeah, you probably will be primary firing at, at this kind of range. Um, but obviously, the option is much stronger now, because you just do so much more damage, because it's so focused, so you can sort of focus the fire in. Obviously, against the barrier, with the spread, of the old weapon it would have still been entirely hitting the barrier so doing maximum damage but the primary fire is just so much more effective now it's it, it's kind of weird to play with because roadhog obviously is really powerful at close range but now he just feels like he's more powerful at close range but he feels like he's lost his insta kill super combo with the hook which i don't think is a bad thing because like i don't think anybody would disagree with me in saying when you get hooked by roadhog and then he just kills you it feels kind of crappy right to the person being hooked it's like okay i've been hooked now i'm dead now i'm on record saying it's punishment for bad positioning and it is right with hook 2.0 no longer can you get crazy hooks around the corner in the sky and all of that madness it is a straight up hook you're in a bad position you've been hooked but that shouldn't just be you're done right you're dead get out of the game because roadhog is a tank right you've got to remember this about roadhog he's got a shitload of health he can heal himself and he's got other utility. So for him to just be able to instantly kill somebody is massively powerful. And for there to be no way of escaping is a bit insane. So now, there definitely is a way to escape sometimes. Obviously, if you're Reaper, you get hooked by Roadhog. And he primary fires into you and it hits you in the head. You're dead, right? Less spread. You're at, like, a better range for the primary fire in a way after you get hooked in at 3.5 meters. He fires into you. He can kill you. Problem is, though, it's not as set in stone with smaller characters. So when it's like a Genji, as we see earlier on in the video, or if it's a Tracer, or an Anna. Anna is terrible for this, because Anna's got such a weird hitbox. You miss, and they actually survive, and they get away. It's like, oh... However, if you didn't manage to kill, like, the Reaper, for example, or the Mei, suddenly they've got an option to just try and counter what you've done with the hook. So you hook them, Mei could cryo-freeze, Reaper could wraith form and try and get away after they take the primary fire, which isn't necessarily an instant kill. Because the hook before brought you pretty much point-blank range and then it all fired into your body. So you took a massive hit, which... So I guess it's kind of not fair of me saying this newer version is actually a better range for the hook. It's kind of not, right? Because the old one wasn't instant kill. The newer one, though, can still pull out a ton of damage. Like... You just have to be a bit more accurate, and it depends on the targets that you're trying to hit. Obviously, if you pull a tank in or somebody, like you're going to hit them in the head and do a ton of damage. Like a Winston, you can do a ton of damage to a Winston or a Diva, anyone who's massive, or even another Roadhog. And remember, don't hook first when you're in a Roadhog duel, because that will mean you will die. Like this, look at this. Firing point blank into him. I've got to reload. Oh, but it was doing quite a lot of damage to it. I probably should have killed him there because I wasn't firing into his head. So I think... This Roadhog change actually isn't too bad. It makes Roadhog feel like he's still pretty powerful. His primary fire is more effective. His hook is going to take some getting used to. The extra cooldown on it is 
not difficult, but it's strange because it upsets the rhythm. And when we're talking about when you hook people in, it isn't like a guaranteed kill. Like, you see Mercy got hooked in there, but she was already damaged. Like, she already had lost a quarter of her health. Would she have died straight away if she had full health? I'm not sure. Like, she might have done because I did fire into her head and it was a fairly decent sort of accurate shot of me but if i was firing into a body it might not have killed her like because she's so slim so you know she might not have taken all the damage it's super interesting ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think about this in the comments below if you've been playing roadhog on the ptr i'd be very interested to hear what you've got to say and if you're a roadhog main as well i would be very interested to hear what you've got to say ladies and gentlemen i'm salo so this is unit lost if you like the video then like the video subscribe to the channel you can follow me on twitter which is at unit lost gaming and i'll catch you next time toodaloo